Lesson 1.6. Use geometric probability. Let's say you're listening to a radio contest where you hear a song and call in and name it. The song was supposed to be played between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. But you can only listen from 12.20 to 1 because that's when you get out of class. What is the probability that you'll hear the song? That depends on what probability is, I suppose. Probability is the number of favorable outcomes over the total outcomes. If you like, it's the number of ways to get what you want divided by the total ways things could happen. Essentially what we have is a timeline here. So we go from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. We can listen from 12.20. So this is the part we want. So what do we want? We want 40 minutes out of our total of 60 minutes. Which would be 2 thirds. So it's a timeline, it's a line, Segment probability be 40 over 60, two thirds or 67%. That brings us to our length probability postulate. If a point on AB is chosen at random and C is between A and B, then the probability of the point is on AC is the length of AC divided by the length of AB. So the way this is written, the P stands for probability. The AC tells you what you want. And then it would be the length of AC, which is the part we want, over the total length. The area probability postulate is similar. If a point in region A is chosen at random, then the probability that a point is in region B, which is in the interior of A, is the region of B over the region of A. So if we want B, it would be the area of all of B divided by the area of A. Find the probability that a random point is in the shaded region. Alright, so we want the probability of the shaded part. Well, that means this should be the shaded over the total. But what shape is the shaded? Our shaded is a trapezoid, and the total area is a triangle. All right, our trapezoid is one half the height times base one plus base two. Triangle is one half base times height. For the trapezoid, the height is 4, and its bases are 6 and 2. For the triangle, the base is the 6, and the height would be the whole height, which is also 6. On the top, I'll have a half times 4 is 2, times 8. The bottom, I have half of 6, which is 3, times 6. So I have 16 over 18, which reduces to, I can reduce it by 2, I get 8 over 9. If I put it in a calculator, that's about 88.9%. So it's very likely to hit the shaded area. Find the probability a random point is in this shaded region. So the probability of the shaded, what do we have that's shaded? That looks like, well, it's what we want over the total. We want the shaded over our total. The shaded is two semicircles, and the total is a square. Let's 
let's see, this is semicircles. That would be the radius. So we have two of these, and each semicircle will be half the area of the full circle. And the square is a side squared. The radius is 2. And the side squared is 4. So 2 times a half, which is 1 times pi times 2 squared, which is 4. So I have 4 pi on top and 16 on the bottom. That reduces to pi over 4, or about 78.5 percent.